All right, guys, got an awesome video for you today. We're gonna bust a couple of those putting myths that are out there that can really make you miss a lot of putts and practice the wrong things. Well, there's been some great technology that's come out over the past 10 years or so, specifically the Sam Putt Lab. The owner of that, Christian Markhart, what he did is he took this ultrasound machine, measured 98 PJ Tour players, compiled all that data, and found out what the best players in the world are doing. I'm gonna share some of those key points with you in this video. The first one, as he found out that there's not a pendulum putting stroke. So players aren't going one foot back and coming one th foot through when they putt. They found on tour, it's about a two to one. So meaning if I go one foot back, I should be coming two feet past the ball with my putter head as I'm going through there. Now it doesn't have to be exactly two to one, but he definitely found that they're favoring the forward stroke. And the reason for that is, as you set up to this ball, if I wanna keep on accelerating through this putt, if I wanna have my putter head accelerating through the ball, the natural momentum of that putter head is gonna carry it on through a little bit farther. So when you're making your putts, make sure that you favor the follow through side of your stroke. And ideally that'll be somewhere around that two to one. All right, now the second myth is that the putting stroke is a circular action. So if you imagine this is the low point of that pendulum, as the putter goes back, it rises up. As it comes through, it rises up. So if you imagine this is the ground, and here's my putter face, that would look something like this. The putter rises, reaches a low point, and then rises back up again. What they found the best putters in the world do is they actually take that putter back a little bit lower and closer to the ground. It still comes off the ground, but as they accelerate on through, it's actually rising up a little bit. So it's kind of a low to high motion. You don't have to exaggerate this too much, but what that's gonna do is that's gonna help to put a little top spin on the ball and get it rolling a little bit smoother on the putting surface. So as you set up, picture that club head hugging the ground on the back stroke, rising up slightly as you come through. That's gonna help you to make a lot more putts. Now the third myth, this is one from Dave Pels, talking about the optimal speed to miss past the hole is 18 inches. Now what I found is that we're not gonna make a lot of putts outside of that 12 foot range. So especially outside of 12 feet, I wanna feel like the ball dies into the hole. That's what some of the best players Tiger Woods, Jack Nicklaus from their longer putts, I always said, I want this ball to just die, that last rotation to fall into the cup. So imagine having a one foot in either direction, a two foot diameter circle. So if this is the middle of the cup, I have one foot short, I have one foot long, and there's a circle here. I want those putts to end up in that circle. If I hit it past that circle, that's no good. Even if it's going and I make it, it's going too fast. If it's going right in the heart of the putt and I miss it one inch short, that's completely fine. You're not gonna miss that many of them short. Most of the time what's gonna happen, especially if you get those downhill fast putts, you're gonna have this 10 footer for birdie, you're really excited, you get a little firm with it, now it rolls by four feet, you miss a four footer for par and you end up making a bogey from a very simple putt. So on this one, notice how I'm gonna let this ball just barely die in the cup. If I miss it, that's okay, but I want the speed to be really good. All right, so a little bit firm on that one. I would go ahead and putt a few more, even though I made it. Not that happy with that one. I went into it with a little bit too much pace. So this was a great one also. Practice some longer putts when you're doing this. All right, guys, so we got started with those great strokes. But what we need to do is we need to groove a stroke. I have a great video. I'm gonna play a preview of that here in a second, talking about how you can groove your stroke so time after time, you can get that great roll. Let's go ahead and click on the card up on your screen or the link down below in the description. You'll get instant access to that video and you'll start making those putts and winning a few bucks off your friends. Let's go and get started. Hi guys and welcome to the Top Speed Golf Putting System. In this video, we're gonna talk about the stroke itself. So that's one of the first fundamentals I think to have a really good consistent stroke is we have to set up to the ball in the same way every time. And what I like to do is I like to have my eyes directly over top of the ball over top of the target line. And I have a great little putting mirror here made by Eyeline that I use a lot to, to help me get lined up. And it's simply got a black line going down the center. So when I'm looking down, I wanna see my eyes directly on this black line. And I want my lead eye almost on the back of the ball. All the way down the shaft to be in one straight line. So if you're looking at this, as I set up, if you look, draw a line up from the shaft, that should be splitting my forearms and they're gonna be lined up with that shaft. And what that's gonna allow me to do is take a lot of wrist out of the stroke and to be able